Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, Rob Hendricks. Uh, I'm a program lead at the Whole Center for New Printing Technologies. And uh, today I uh, will be showing impulse printing, a brand new technology. And uh, we like to start with a, uh, uh, a video. So here you can see uh, the impulse printing in action. So I'll show it. So uh, for people who missed it, I will I will restart it again. So here you can see there are uh, five lines printed uh, wrap, wrapped around a substrate, and this substrate is uh, one millimeter thick glass, and we have an incredible uh, ten millimeter print gap. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we can print extremely fast. Uh, this is a different video showing uh, we can print simultaneously or uh, se uh, sequential. And this is a, uh, a copper ink which we printed uh, uh, at a resolution of 350 micron uh, wide track and after uh, drying it was uh, 60 micron thick. Uh, so you can see it's very nicely wrapped around the substrate at a, a, a gap of uh, 10 millimeters. So what uh, what is impulse printing? Well, it's a additive and manufacturing technology uh, with a very high material efficiency and a, and a low carbon footprint. In terms of uh, what we are able to print, we have some unique features uh, such as size. We can print from microns to millimeter size features. Uh, in terms of shape, uh, as you saw, it's uh, non-contact printing, so we can go from uh, we can print on uh, uh, non-planar non su surfaces, so basically on any topology. And uh, we also have a, a ability to print a, a very wide of range of viscosity, so we can print basically any ink uh, out there. And uh, then third, uh, actually, the, the scalability of, the, the, of this technology, it's really designed for volume production. And it's uh, also compatible with large substrates and uh, roll troll. Uh, and in the end, it's a very uh, cost, effect, cost effective manufacturing technology. So, going over the features we are able to print. So, this is uh, one of the first uh, experiments. So, here we printed a 15 micron and 20 micron uh, lines. Um, you can see on the graph, uh, we, we think we can go uh, all the way down to uh, two microns and then all the way up to uh, millimeters and, and, and larger. So it's an incredibly wide uh, uh, range of uh, size we can print. Um, then in terms of uh, materials, uh, we basically were able to print any material we could find. Uh, viscosity is going from almost water to, uh, to almost solids. So you can see we printed copper, silver, dielectric, carbon, solar paste, conductive adhesive, so not even a solvent there, just a, a epoxy. And dye attached materials and also underfill. So this is all possible uh, uh, to, to print. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, because we print in a non-contact uh, way, um, we are able to print over steps. So here you can see a one millimeter thick package. We, we printed conformally uh, copper ink all the way down to the side and making contact at the bottom. Uh, going even a step further than this, uh, we are able to also print uh, over gaps. So here is a two millimeter gap. So there's a glass slide left, glass slide on the right, air gap in the middle, and we completely bridge this from one side to the other without any support. So the ink is, uh, is supported by itself. And then as you saw in the video, in the early video, this is a close up of the, um, the wrap around. So you can see it's completely wrapped around. Uh, the edge is super sharp, it doesn't uh, really matter. And uh, actually, if you see uh, in the next uh, uh, slide, uh, here we printed the silver ink, which was uh, a little easier to cure. And this, uh, this edge was even worse, so it's a super sharp edge. It's not, it's not really nicely uh, um, uh, nice edge, but still, we can wrap around, we cured it, and then we got a 0.17 ohm resistance from one side to the other. Um, so, yeah, we don't have to do any special treatment to the to the glass. And at this stage, uh, yeah, so we started uh, um, uh, in, in 2019, uh, and then we started to 
create bigger print areas. And now in, uh, in this year, we will actually uh, go for a startup where we're going to build tools uh, which can handle up to 200 by 200 millimeter print areas. Yeah, and if you'd like to know more about this technology, uh, you can contact me at, the, uh, at this email address. And you can also come talk in our booth um, in uh, room three. <laughs>